Hi everybody. I apologize for any background noise off the start. My kids are in the other room and I am running off to an art fair today. So I don't have a whole lot of time and uh, can't wait for them to be gone <laughs> before I record this. Anyway, um, I wanted to do another process art demo for you guys. So again, with process art, it's just anything you feel you do. You don't think too much. You just try to put paper down in this case. I'm doing some collage. And before you start, you set an intention. An intention is any positive statement about what you want to claim for your day, for your week, for your 10 minutes, anything. So in this case, I wrote, I am centered and calm. I am present and able to relax my body and mind. I paint to express the things I don't have words for. I am safe. I am loved. So then I, I spent the next 10 to 20 minutes painting, collaging, again, trying not to think, which I think is the hardest part to get used to, and just doing whatever feels good, using whatever colors feel good in the moment, using whatever I'm instinctually drawn to. You try not to second guess things. If, you, if something looks like a great color, you think, oh my gosh, fluorescent orange. I never use fluorescent orange. Well, use it, see what happens. Um, likewise, sometimes people are also really repelled by colors. So they look at brown and say, ew, not brown. Well, you might want to try that someday too and just see why you don't like the brown. What does that bring up for you? Um, it's a little bit more therapy related, I suppose, but um, you know, experiment, have fun. There's really no wrong way to do this, except if you sit and think too much, but we all have days like that anyway. So just do what you do. And if you do spend too much time thinking, then maybe you can explore why when you write your witness writing at the end. So once your time period has ended for your art making, whatever time you set, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or whenever you just feel you're done, then it's time for the witness writing. And the witness writing is really just stream of consciousness. You kind of sit across from your painting, or if you did a drawing, you can sit across from your drawing too, whatever you did. And you so, so that you can see it and you can write anything you want. You can write about your day. It doesn't have to be related to your painting. You can look at your painting and say, wow, why did I use so many greens and blues when normally I, I go to red? You can, um, some people go so far as to ask their painting things. You know, what are you trying to show me? What should I see here? It sounds a little woo woo. Um, it's, it's not really in my, my opinion. Um, but it's just a way to get to hear your kind of still small voice inside the voice that some of us drown out with distractions right too much tv too much social media those are my guilty pleasures and it's a way to understand yourself better to understand what's bothering you if something's bothering you to understand what's making you happy and bringing you joy it's just a way to understand You don't need to overthink it. You can spend five minutes, 10 minutes doing that. Try to keep your pen moving the entire time so that you're not thinking about what you're writing and trying to compose anything. No one ever has to see what you write. In a class setting, we typically would share optionally around in a circle and people could read only what's on the paper. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to do anything that you don't have to share anything you don't want to share, but it's an opportunity for you to hear your words out loud, which can be really helpful. I apparently forgot to hit record as I was writing my witness, so I'll read it to you now. It says, submerged, 
again, but it's quiet here. Muffled sounds of joy up above, peace and stillness underneath. The sun shines down through the water. It's not a cold depth, just beneath the surface. The sunshine calls me up. When I emerge, I'm ready to join the others. I have rested. I am ready. So what questions do you have for me? Do you have more questions on witness writing or intentions? Do you have questions on the art making itself? Please let me know in the comments. I'm happy to answer questions. And uh, let me know what you think. Have you guys tried this? Does it work for you? Do you enjoy it? Usually after I'm done, I feel so much better. Um, and usually I feel less stuck in my art. I'm not afraid of making mistakes. I'm not afraid to start with a blank canvas. Um, and it just really kind of gives me a, a sense that I've accomplished something for the day, even though it didn't take very long. And it just feels good. Hope you guys feel the same.